Uh, well, this is, it is really exciting to look out and see everybody here today. I, I really greatly appreciate everybody uh, coming out for today's event. And uh, I want to give a special thanks to Pat and Gina and Elizabeth for, and all the volunteers at the CMTA for helping organize today's events and also for all of their wonderful support. Um, and also thanks to the Boston Seaport Hotel. I've actually never been down to this part of Boston before, so this is an you know, education for me. Um, I was particularly interested because uh, those of you who are from the area or may look at the Boston Globe, our local newspaper, this particular hotel was in the news just a couple of days ago. Um, apparently they have a, a beekeeper uh, who has a bunch of hives somewhere on one of the rooftops uh, of the hotel, um, been very, very successful, and apparently the hotel is now marketing their own honey and their own honey beer, uh, which I'm going to be searching for sometime later. <laughs> Uh, in any event, my, my job um, is uh, an easy one. Uh, it's just to introduce uh, our facility uh, and some of the individuals who uh, I'm privileged to, uh, to work with. So um, we are located at 165 Cambridge Street in the Charles River Plaza, um, uh, which is uh, in downtown Boston. You can see roughly where this is uh, located here. Sort of a, a, a nice area. We're right adjacent to the Charles River, and MIT is over here, and the MGH campus is located here. Um, for sports enthusiasts, we're located just about a, less than a half a mile from the Boston Garden where the Celtics and Bruins play, and we're about two miles from Fenway Park where, um, unfortunately, the uh, New York Mets <laughs> suffered a catastrophic setback in their postseason aspirations oh, last night um, for. Uh, the benefit of our uh, guests from northern New Jersey who may not have been able to stay up late at night to get the results last night. <laughs> um, but, but that's close by. Um, and we're right adjacent to uh, Whole Foods where you can, uh, literally next door, where you can get um, tremendous food that is heavily marked up. Uh, we opened in 2006, so it's a fairly, uh, fairly new facility. Um, the, the whole concept of our center was to sort of offer um, sort of one-stop shopping for neuromuscular disease. So we have a series of clinic rooms um, for evaluation. We have a whole bunch of facilities for diagnostic testing, including electrophysiology and autonomic testing, nerve ultrasound, muscle biopsy, blood drawing services, et cetera. Uh, and we also have an infusion center for uh, treating some patients with autoimmune neuromuscular diseases. Um, and this is sort of our, our front door, so if you, you, you will be graced by um, uh, a couple of, um, well, actually usually multiple uh, flyers that are uh, written in multiple languages, uh, inquiring as to whether or not you've recently visited Sierra Leone or Guinea in the last couple of weeks and might be harboring Ebola virus or whatever, and therefore need to get to the emergency room. So, so this is what we have. We have, um, um, uh, you know, a, Obviously, it's our, our waiting room. For those of you who were unable to attend the walkthrough last night, um, we have uh, three uh, exam rooms, uh, typical exam room. We have six EMG rooms, an autonomic testing facility with a tilt table. We have our big uh, infusion room with eight, uh, actually nine infusion chairs, conference room with video conferencing um, abilities and, and numerous, uh, numerous offices. We have a, a lot of folks who are part of our team up in the Neuromuscular Diagnostic Center. We have uh, somewhere between 13 and 14 physicians who see neuromuscular patients, both adult and pediatric, um, four of whom actually have offices up in that area. Uh, we have four nurses, three who stay at the infusion suite, and uh, one who is just administers to our neuromuscular clinics. Um, we have a medical assistant, we have four patient care coordinators, a couple of EMG technicians, a couple of receptionists, we have a large neuromuscular training fellowship. There's actually six fellows in it, um, but they rotate back and forth between our hospital and one of our neighboring hospitals. So at any one time, we have half of them or three neuromuscular fellows with our, uh, and these are individuals who have um, completed neurology training and uh, are full-fledged neuro neurologists, but they're coming to spend an extra year with us to do specialty training in neuromuscular medicine. And of course, we have administrator who sees, oversees everything. We have a diversity of uh, adult and pediatric neuromuscular clinics, general neuromuscular disease, but we also have some um, specialty clinics, and you'll be hearing a lot more about our CMT program uh, uh, today. Uh, our uh, CMT 
clinic uh, meets uh, on Wednesdays. Um, we have a pediatric neuromuscular clinic that meets on Tuesdays that actually um, uh, some of the younger CMT patients are seen in the our pediatric clinic. These are both up in the same facility. Uh, we have specialty uh, clinics in myotonic dystrophy, myasthenia gravis, et cetera, and more that are developing. So this is our, our um, some of our CMT team. Uh, the, some of them stu stood up before, and it's clear that many of them are still sleeping in. Um, some of them will be speaking here later on today, so uh, you'll get a chance to, to, to meet many more of the individuals, uh, I guess, uh, later on. Uh, let's start up here. This is uh, Dr. David Chad, who uh, is uh, a clinical co-director um, of um, the CMT program, along with uh, Vera Fridman, who many of you know. Uh, uh, Dave and Vera are the uh, sort of the, the clinical cornerstones of our operation. They are the co-directors of the CMT uh, operation. Florian Eichler, just to the right, is the director of our rare disease consortium at Massachusetts General Hospital, and he is also uh, one of the pillars of our uh, research arm uh, in hereditary neuropathy. He's running lots of very, very interesting hereditary neuropathy trials. Uh, for HSAN and other areas. Uh, he will be speaking later on uh, today as well, and, and uh, he's actually a pediatric neurologist by training, uh, but sees adults and, and children as well. Um, Sabrina Paganoni right there is, is, a, is a real gift to us. Uh, she actually um, um, did her training uh, in physiatry, so physical medicine and rehabilitation, so she's a rehabilitation physician, but also spent an additional year doing specialized neuromuscular training. Uh, so, as opposed to most of us who are neurologists focusing on CMT, she is a, a neuromuscular rehab physician who um, is uh, contributing to our CMT program, also up in the area. Uh, Mike Valley, uh, who will be coming here later, he's unfortunately uh, on the teaching service uh, for the residency today, so he'll be a little bit late, he has to go to rounds this morning. Mike's in the middle there. Um, also uh, a neurologist uh, who is subspecialized in neuromuscular medicine, a tremendous clinician. Uh, Martha Riley over here is uh, our nurse, Tracy Lane, uh, our MA. Kaylee Walsh is a research coordinator who's been uh, overseeing a lot of the work um, in the neuropathy uh, program, CMT. And uh, we have Ken Cornell, the lower right here, who is just our orthotist supreme. Uh, who's been coming to our clinics. Many of you know him, he's just, he's just a, a, a tremendous resource for, for our patients. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, we have a pediatric neuromuscular clinic as well, where, where some of the uh, children with CMT are seen. This meets on Tuesday mornings. This is a multidisciplinary clinic also with occupational, physical therapy, geneticists, a whole, a whole slew of people. Um, and um, I'm showing pictures here of Fawn Lee and Kathy Swoboda. Uh, who are uh, pediatric neuromuscular clinicians uh, who see those patients, again, up in the same, same space we all, all share. So uh, our address, again, is 165 Cambridge Street. Uh, I think I mentioned the, the Whole Foods, which is just to the left, and here's a picture of the Whole Foods. We're just to the, just to the right of it. Um, actually, it's affectionately known that everyone goes there for lunch, and they have a tremendous lunch bar, but it's affectionately <laughs> refer to as whole paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, it's, uh, that's our phone, that's our fax, uh, and we have um, validated parking. Uh, and that's really all I wanted to say, and that's who we are, and uh, essentially where, where we live.